Wednesday morning in Masai Mara University, Vice Chancellor Professor Mary Walingo was at the DCI headquarters to answer to summons to appear before the detectives at the Financial Crimes Investigation Desk. The professor was put to task to explain her role in the alleged plunder of 190 million shillings at the university. Sources privy to the investigations revealed to Citizen TV that Walingo lacked documentation to refer to in answering the questions and asked for more time to prepare for questioning. After recording her statement, she was released in the evening with her next date with investigators being Monday next week. Five members of the Finance and Internal Audit Committees of the University Council have also been summoned to Mazingira House this Thursday. And as investigations continue, succession politics have rocked the leadership of the besieged university. The University Council sent Walingo on a compulsory leave Appointing Deputy Vice-Chancellor in charge of academic affairs, Professor Magak Kiche, the acting Vice-Chancellor, a move that is reported not to have been received well as those opposed to Walingo's leadership see it as a move to cover up the misdeeds during her alleged tenure of plunder. University staff who spoke to Citizen TV on condition of anonymity claim those opposed to Walingo's style of leadership have already received firing threats, including the whistleblowers. Walingo's wars began after a Citizen TV expose dubbed the Mara Haste that brought to the fore the blatant plunder of university resources. With more persons of interest expected before the DCI Thursday, it is only after this series of interrogations that the detectives will determine who takes the witness stand and who becomes a suspect in the multi-million shilling case. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.